Tucker said that he was communicating through Signal and that the government contacted him and said, we know that you're setting up a meeting with Putin. Yeah. Because we read your signal. And he was like, I didn't know you could even do that. Well, this connects directly back to the FISA Section 702 law. Because if they are surveilling certain foreign entities in Russia, then an American citizen like Tucker Carlson communicating with them the government is then able to just immediately go in again without a warrant and saying, okay, we got to go before, uh, you know, a judge. And even if they do go before a judge, it is a secret court. There is no, there is only one side that's presented, which is the government saying, we need to go and capture all of Tucker's data. For example, I have no idea if this actually happened, but let's say that's, that's the scenario that court. Uh, and this is public information that court, approves 99.9999999% of all requests that the government makes to go in and surveil American citizens. It's essentially a rubber stamp, which is exactly the problem. But that's where I could foresee, okay, well, Tucker's communicating on signal. Um, this surveillance law that just was strengthened recently when Congress passed it and Biden signed it into law allows that to happen. Mm. So it's all bullshit then. So signal, unplugged phone, all that stuff. If that's the case, if they have the ability to read signal, don't you think they have the ability to read every single piece of information that gets sent from your phone? They can intercept it and read it. It just makes sense. That I believe that. it. I don't know how you're going to protect that. Maybe I'm ignorant, but I don't understand how you could protect that with a different operating system as long as it's using the same cell phone signals. It's like, I understand that you're saying it's encrypted, but is that encryption impossible to crack? Like, isn't that, is there a source of that encryption? Couldn't someone just get the phone and let's figure it out and back engineer it? Seems like they could. An interesting thing about, um, I asked this same question about this unplugged phone. And if you're using, which I hadn't heard before about any other app, but if you're using their um version of signal their you know texting app that you can do calls and facetime and whatever through with another app app on another unplugged phone every time you connect a call or you send a text message it generates a new encryption key versus signal which is when you download it and you set up your you know your account or whatever that is your key so but would you have to have an unplugged phone for me to talk to you in that encrypted app that's what I, I, yes, I believe so. You so you would have to have it and I would have I to have I believe so. Because I don't know that their app is available on Apple, for example. Right. See, that would be interesting if someone developed something that did that, that developed a The new generation of a new, a new encrypted key every time you're using it. Yeah. And starting a conversation that, that, that's. It all seems but, like. But, but, you know, it, it, it's futile true. Futile race. Yeah. It just seems like. The, the, the boundaries between people and privacy. A oh. signal facing collapse after CIA cuts oh, funding. Wow. Oh, Jesus. So I, this is an investigative journalist on a website. I then looked up his account. His account is suspended on Twitter or mm. X. I don't know why, hmm. but this is an article that says some interesting things. Hmm. But I, I, it's, I, I don't know how much of this is fact. That's almost why I hesitated to bring it up. It does say... A, ma a friend of mine, so hold on a second, <clears throat> never acknowledged in any serious way by the mainstream media, Signal's origins as a U.S. government asset are a matter of extensive public record, even if the scope and the scale of the funding provided has until now been secret. The app, brainchild of shadowy tech guru Moxie Marlinspike, by the way. <laughs> That's quite a name. He came on the podcast. He's not shadowy. Did he really? Yeah, mm. he's on the podcast. Wow. Not shadowy at all. Interesting. No, like regular guy. Yeah. Like some of this is probably horseshit. Uh, real name Matthew Rosenfeld. How dare you, Moxie? You have a fake name. <laughs> uh, was launched in 2013 by his now defunct Open Whisper Systems. The company never published financial statements or disclosed the identities of its funders at any point during its operation. Sums involved in developing, launching, and running a message app used by countless people globally will nonetheless be sig surely significant. The newly published financial records indicate Signal's operating costs for 2023 alone are $40 million, 
and projected to rise to 50 million by 2025. Rosenfeld uh, boasted in 2018 that OWS never took VC venture capital funding or sought investment at any point, though mysteriously failed to mention millions were provided by the Open Technology Fund. That might have been three million that we found Yeah, earlier. and that's mm. the money. Oh, 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 here we go. Yeah, Open Technology Fund was launched in 2012 as a pilot program of Radio Free Asia, <laughs> an asset of the U.S. Agency for Global Media. Oh boy, yeah, which is funded by U.S. Congress to the tune of over one billion annually. In 2018, the then CEO openly acknowledged the agency's global priorities reflect U.S. national security and public diplomacy interests. <sighs> Mm -hmm. really that sounds sus. Is that super sus? That Tulsi is Gabbard? super sus. <laughs> <laughs> I just like you saying super <laughs> sus. Yeah. That that um. That's a little iffy. It's very. I, if I would it's say true, so. if it's all, or I would say if so. it's not true, it's a disinformation campaign designed to cripple Signal and to lose people's trust in Signal. Yeah, perhaps that last thing there though is is is. Is a separate issue of concern of, of yeah. the United States government funding um, U.S. Yeah. prop 